You know, say, you know, say, haters gon' hate, but ballers gon' ball. And when they see us to be made, their panties gon' draw. All right, hi again, it's your boy J Buzz doing this live Linksman Records. Interviewing a very pretty lady over here, rocking the blue. Um, that's in Africa. What kind of outfit is this? <laughs> I know this. It's a um, Hollandese uh, evening gown. Nice, it looks really like me. Oh, wow, she's a designer, she designed that dress. So, if you want to contact, just ask her after. So, you look really nice, and um, it's a movie premiere for the Enville. We have Desmond Elliott, Vivian Williams, and this is a Vivian Williams production also. So, ma'am, please tell us why you're here today, and um, do you look forward to seeing this movie? Oh yeah, I look forward to seeing the movie and what it's all about. And um, most importantly, I'm here to support Vivian Williams. All right, there you have it. A lot of people are excited about this movie. They can't wait to see it, so hey. So I think I'm going to get an interview of you again when we finish watching the movie, so that way you tell us what you think, okay? Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. What are you putting on, put it on today? <laughs> anyway, so how do you feel being on the record to actually see the movie on the hill? You must have your expectations, so what are your expectations of this movie? Yeah, I think it's very good. I've heard a lot about it actually. It's very so that's good. So um, hopefully we can catch on with you later and find out exactly if um, the, the movie on the hill was able to meet your expectations, right? Oh, yeah. Baby, come on. Yeah, you're here now in the spotlight. So please tell us um, your name and also why you're here today. I know it's the unveil movie, but um, we'd like to hear your point of view and what you think about this movie before you see it. I'm sorry, I just want to ask you what you think about this movie and um, the reason why you're here today. I mean, I know you're here for the unveil. And uh, who are you excited to see and are you excited to see this movie? Um, I'm excited to see the movie. I'm excited to see all the cast in the movie. I'm not really, I don't know anything about the movie, so I'm, I'm welcome to any surprises. So, but uh, who's one of the actors, like, I see big names like Olu Jekyll or Desmond, huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Um, just give a shout out to Vivian Productions. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to say, um, Good luck, Vivian, and uh, all the best. Thank you very much. So, do you mind telling us um, what you're having on, on right now? Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm having a special shoe, um, a Zara suit, because Zara is cut to size, like, you know, it fits you. And I'm having, like, Hugo Boss belts. And I'm having Chanel Blue Cologne. I don't know if that matters, but yeah. Good. That, that shows that you have a lot of, uh, you have great sense of um, fashion. Yeah, it's coming to a Vivian Williams production, so you have to dress, to, you know, to dress apart. You're right. Yes, so, you know, Vivian has done so many excellent jobs before now, so we're, we're expecting her to top it up. This is like an icing on the cake for her, you understand? So we have to put in our best to, to see that, you know, in mid-spa, you know. So, do you have any word for Vivian? Um, any great expectation regarding this movie? Um, I heard sponsors um, for this premiere. Um, what actually um, made you want to come out and, and, and support Vivian? You know what? I'm all about woman empowerment. Oh, thank you. Empowerment. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I hope you know. Um, Vivian has done you know excellent job before now, like I said, and. Um, from what she's doing, most of us, you know, we're inspired by what she's doing. Because, I mean, there were times when they say, woman cannot do this, woman cannot do that. But, you know, to see where Vivian is at this point in time, you know, it kind of gives us, you know, that fulfillment that actually a woman can become anything. 
that she wants to be. You know, understand? So, Mr. President of the United States, eh? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Osahon. We are um, Uyi Osa, Osaige. We are really um, um, excited to have you in our in our red carpet here. Thank you so much, and uh, hopefully, ho hopefully we can catch up with you later and um, find out how how what uh, what your take was. Um. So GBK FM is here. One of the promoters, one of the CEOs, one of the guys that run the whole background. You already know about the FM, so. He's here and he just saw the movie. Um, so, sir, what did you think about this film after you watch it? Is it something you could recommend or do you have any iffiness about it or something? Just let us know what you think. Honestly, I must confess, the lead blow up. It's very educating and uh, honestly, it's so real. For me, I would recommend that people have to just go watch it. It's so real. So you definitely felt it, you could relate with it, everything about it was just real. Everything about it just real, all free. You even forgot that it was written, it was, it was like people were just living a daily life, like it's basically just no script, everything was just flowing. From everything was flowing. Nice, nice, there you have it man, so right now we've asked three people and nobody has dissed this movie, so you already know man, it's Unveil. And we're unveiling the secrets, man. Today, June 25th, 2016, we started this. It's a movement thing, man. So you already know, man. Just keep a lookout. After hours is coming up. But before we get there, man, we're still going to ask more people. We're going to ask the director and we're going to ask Desmond Elliott what he thought about his own film. And of course, we're going to have No Sao Basaki here. So he's going to tell us about this movie as well. So stay tuned. It's your boy, Jay Baz. Not be my job, but I'm doing it. Loving it. Damn. We are really excited to have you on board here um, at the um, movie premiere of Unveil. And uh, you happen to be one of the um, um, sponsors of um, this great premiere. What actually made you want to come out to support this great work of art, to support Vivian Williams herself? There must be something really special about, about the work of Vivian herself. Which one? First of all, I'd like to introduce my brother here. Also one of us, one of the pillars for GBKM FM. Um, when we, his name is Tali, he's one of our advisors. My pleasure. We came on board because we saw a dream, uh, we saw a pitch setter, uh, we saw a reality, and we saw a game changer. Meaning that when we saw Vivian uh, Productions, we knew that Canada is coming to life as in moving itself. And she's proving it now. You can tell that there's no parking space in the mall. There's no way to move around, and the movie haven't even started. But what I'm trying to say here is that um, you guys are a good team. You guys are putting it up, and we wish you guys the best. And I know that because of the bunch of brain uh, Vivian Production has with her in our team, the next one that is coming is going to be epic. And we are strongly uh, behind her, and we are proud to be one of the sponsors, and we are proud. GBK FM is proud to associate uh, with uh, Vivian Williams Productions. Thank you so much, Mr. Bazwayu. We really do appreciate you, and we appreciate the good work that you're doing in Toronto as well. Mr. St uh, Stanley uh, uh, Omakun, thank you so much for your great work. I really want to encourage her the more. So whatever she has started, I want her to never to relent because she has brought reality to the moving industry in Toronto. Thank you so much. Wow. See you again. I know. Ty, how the way from Montreal? Ah, from Montreal. Support Vivian Williams production? Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And to see what Unveil is all about. Yeah. Do you have a Um. Okay, um, the part is, you know, I know, like, you know, Vivian Production, you know, like, we understand that it's very important to support our movie actors, and as, uh, as an artist, and as a DJ, so I know how it is, you know, like, we have to support ourselves. So, and today, you know, it's, you know, my pleasure to be in the city right today, you know, with GBK FM that make me here right now, and I'm right here with him, and uh, we try to promote our vision. I'm a Nigerian. Thank you. A proud one. I'm a proud Nigerian promoting every movie at house, promoting every area that is coming up. So we are doing our best to like help ourselves, you know. It's, it's a, it's a industry that we're doing. 
Thank you so yeah. much, Alan. We do appreciate you. You want to support this group, work of art? Yeah, sure. There must be something you need to come out there and see what's, you know, on the Zalabai. Actually, a friend of mine has her daughter. Um, she's part of the movie, so I want to see the part she did on it. So I'm looking forward to it. Excitement, intrigue, everything. Okay, I'm quite sure you won't be disappointed. And hopefully I can catch up with you at the end of the movie to, you know, tell me exactly how you feel after the movie. Thank you so much and have fun. So yeah, like, here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here. The movie's still playing, as you can see. But uh, right now we have people coming out. So I'm thinking the movie was so good or so passionate, they couldn't hold it no more. So they had to come out and vent a little bit. So we're going to ask this beautiful lady right here what she think about the movie so far. And um, how you doing? What's your name? Yeah, hi. Nice to meet you. Um, Hope, so what did you think about the movie? Yeah, so far, the movie is lovely, it's nice. It has moral lessons about parents. Like, uh, we should be careful what we do while we grow up. Who will break their hearts. And a lot of things, though. I think that lady, um, what's her name? Vivian Williams. This is her first film. She really did well. The, profession, the, the production is really, really good. And I... I pray she keeps it up. Then as for the moral lessons, parents should just be careful what they do because a lot of things are happening out there. So when you say parents' um, lessons, like, are you talking about parents, like, wives or... Because I know she was married to a guy and something like that. So is it about the, the wife or is it just mother-in-law? You know, they had problems with the mothers. Like, uh, they had problems with uh, the uh, maternity, like, two, two different mothers having those things. You know, that part, they really didn't explain to us how they, what made them to exchange those two girls. Like, we couldn't get it, though. But uh, it has to do with the hospital. Nigeria, we need upgrading. That's true. Thank you very much, ma'am. We really appreciate it. So there you have it. That's from somebody that just viewed it, and she's telling y'all what, you, what she think already. And so, the moral lesson, parents, so... You already know, man. Stay tuned. We have more people. We're going to ask what they think about the movie. So let's get it started, man. Chebas, what did you think about this movie? Hi. The movie is so nice. And it teaches a lot. And it, although it came late, but it, it ends nice. And, the, yeah. And then it show And it end, uh, I mean, it, it finish uh, good and uh, explain a nice uh, idea, too. So, yeah. Nice. I can sense a little bit of accent. So I can tell you're not Nigerian. Where are you from? Tanzania. Tanzania. So there you have it. We're representing and we're supporting each other. As a lady from Tanzania telling y'all what she thought about this movie and she felt it. It was real, it was raw and it was flowing. And I just can you tell the camera your name and also give a shout out to Vivian Williams production. Hi, my name is Judith. Hi. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. Can you guys can stop saying what you guys? You look really, really good. What are you putting on? <laughs> well, um, this shirt I got from Le Chateau. Um, so actually the whole assemble is from Le Chateau. Really good though. You're here to support Vivian Williams, which is good. We must use this opportunity to say thank you to you for coming out because uh, it's, it, this is summer, so many activities going on. Um, for you to take the time out to say, oh, you want to come see this great work of art, we want to say a big thank you to you. You must have your expectation about this movie. Absolutely. I know this is our first uh, movie production in the world. Um, definitely, we're looking up to big things from Vivio Williams. And we're looking, up, uh, we're looking forward to more, to seeing this, um, you know. This is the first one. We're looking forward to seeing the second one already. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, I'm just uh, happy to see that she's uh, doing something great and uh, look, look forward to seeing her performance. That's Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. You, you guys really look good. Thank you. We're really excited to have you on board here um, at the um, movie premiere of Unveil. And uh, you happen to be one of the um, um, sponsors of um, this great premiere. What actually made you want to come out to support this great work of art, to support Vivian Williams herself. There must be something really special about, about the work of Vivian herself. Which one? 
First of all, I'd like to introduce my brother here. Um, he's also one of us, the, one of the pillars for GBKM FM. One um, we, his name is Tali, he's one of our advisors. My pleasure. We came on board because we saw a dream, uh, we saw a pitch setter, uh, we saw a reality, and we saw a game changer. Meaning that when we saw Vivian uh, Productions, we knew that Canada is coming to life as a movie itself. And she's proving it now. You can tell that there's no parking space in the mall. There's no wheel to move around and the movie haven't even started. But what I'm trying to say here is that um, you guys are a good team. You guys are putting it up and we wish you guys the best. And I know that because of the bunch of brain uh, Vivian Production has with her in our team, the next one that is coming is going to be epic. And we are strongly uh, behind her and we are proud to be one of the sponsors and we are proud, GBKFM is proud to associate uh, with uh, Vivian Williams Productions. Thank you so much Mr. Baswayi, we really do appreciate you and we appreciate the good work that you're doing in Toronto as well. Mr. St uh, Stanley uh, uh, Omagun, thank you so much for your great work. Too. I really want to encourage her the more, so whatever she has started, I want her to no, never to relent because she has brought reality to the moving industry in Toronto. Thank you so much. Wow. See you again. I know. Hi, <laughs> all the way from Montreal. Ah, uh, from Montreal. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And see what Yeah. Um. Okay, um, the part is, you know, I know, like, you know, Vivian Production, you know, like, we understand that it's very important to support our movie actors. And as, uh, as an artist and as a DJ, so I know how it is, you know, like, we have to support ourselves. So and today, you know, it's, you know, my pleasure to be in the city right today, you know, with GBKFM that make me here right now. And I'm right here with him, and uh, we try to promote our feet. I'm a Nigerian. Thank you. A proud one. I'm a proud Nigerian promoting every movie at talks, promoting every Aries that is coming up. So we are doing our best to like help ourselves, you know. It's, it's a match, it's an industry that we're doing. Thank you so yeah. much, and we do appreciate you. Sure, sure. You want to support this great work of art? Yeah, sure. sure. There must be something that you, you, you really believe in. Huh? So, thank you so much. Keep the work going. Such a great responsibility. All right, thank you. Okay, here we are again. J Buzz, and I have this most beautiful, uh, this beautiful young lady. She's part of the movie too. She's an actress. Um, I think her name is. I'm, I'm gonna let her tell y'all her name. What's your name? My name is Nicole Bifuna. Right, and um. I understand you were a main lead actor in this movie? Yeah, I was one of them. Okay, and um, you just seen it. Is this the first time you saw it? Yeah, it was the first time. I only know the parts that I acted, so. Oh, so you didn't get to see other people shoot in their parts. So everything else you were seeing was just new. Yeah, and I was really excited to see the movie, actually. Yeah? So what was the reaction? Like, while you were watching it, were you looking side to side to see the way people were feeling about this? Or? Honestly, I was shaking. I, I was really shaking because I, I don't know how I act. I've never seen my, myself act before, but I was really surprised because I've never seen a movie like that and it was, it was, it was surprising. Nice, that's good. So this is your first big screen movie? Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, so what were you thinking after you saw it and then you're coming out, you're getting the reaction? Did you look at um, people, every, so far everybody coming out, they're smiling, they're giving you props. I mean, they love the whole movie. Somebody told me it was just flowing, like there was no script, so. After the movie, I took a lot of pictures with people. I was trying to stay with the group Okay, so apart from acting, can you tell us, is there anything else you're doing right now? Um, well, we're going to the after party now, and I'm really excited to do that, because we're going on the red carpet. No, but I'm talking about like a project. Is there a movie we should be looking forward to? Is there like a, a singing crew, dancing squad, something, clothing? Um, I'm doing a dance recital tomorrow, so we're um, You dance too, apart from acting? Yeah. So she's also a dancer, okay? She acts and she dances. Is there more? Uh, I love food. Yes, me too. So there you have it. 
Linda Obefuna, right? Did I say that right? Nicole Obefuna. Nice. Nice to meet you, and I'm a big fan of yours. I'm going to watch this movie again when I get home. Uh, there you have Vivian Williams. And then we have the big man himself, the boss of all bosses. The boss, we know the, you know, fresh hey, man. Hold on, hold on. You, boss. you know, I was so, I'm busy out here trying to make sure everybody get to, you know, make them know the right door. And I know you've seen this movie. I've been hearing a lot of good feedbacks and people love this film. People talking about it, they're picking you up. They just want to know what, now, how do you feel? I know this is, you've been asked a lot this of This is my first time I've seen the film. Um, firstly, I must commend the director, Robert Peters. Beautiful picture, I think. Um, one of the best I've seen in Hollywood this year. Um, of course, a few sound um, issues, but you know, by and large, it was, it was it was good family story. Something the family can watch, and you know, I'm just happy, basically. So seeing yourself playing a role, I know you probably get this question a lot, but when you were watching the character you were playing, did you gain something like new, like a more? Well, what can I say? I mean, I was more. I'm more proud for the producer Vivian, and. Uh, for me, I was looking more for the technical work as, 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 uh, instead of the, the film itself. More of the technical work, making sure the technical things were going fine. And I think it did good. Nice, nice. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, it's a pleasure to have him. That's Medali. You already know Big Mountain, Nigeria represent, man. We love it. We affect Vivian Williams' production. There you have it. We're going to talk to the director also. The director is over there. So. He's going to come in and also tell you what he thought, you know. Stay tuned. Okay. Again, you already know we've been asking a lot of people what they thought about this movie. And there you have it. This is the director, no other than uh, Robert Peters. And he's here on Veil. I'm just going to ask him. I know um, so far you haven't really seen any frown faces and things like that. So people seem to be coming out smiling. So I just want to say you did a good job, even though I haven't seen it myself. But I saw the trailer and it's really, really beautiful. Uh, I just wanted, what do you, what would you say now that you've seen it in a big screen and um, is it the first time you've seen a movie in a big screen and since it came? We've actually been working on it for the past four days. Uh, what happened was that we had the movie all set. Uh, last week Friday my caller is called me and told me that I can't find most of the scene. So we had one week to put something together for today. Uh, this is not the final copy, we will see it, we're still working on it. And as soon as I go back, we're going to do uh, one or two things with the audio and uh, we should be ready for prime time. But, uh, I'll say so far, so good. Well, you're a director, I believe um, you know what you're doing. Uh, a lot of people here, all they could talk about is it was a dream come true working with you. Talk to Desmond Elliott, he told me like you're really, really like somebody who's so down to earth, like when it's playtime, it's playtime, but also you're a very serious guy to work with and also somebody that knows. So I'm believing now that you're even saying it's not a final cut, so I guess I'm not missing out yet. So I'm just going to say um, one last question before you leave. I know we have after hours coming up and you're a busy man. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask you, sir. Uh, what else are we expecting? Are you guys doing more of this um, unveil movement? Like, is there something they should be looking forward to? Um, are they gonna see you somewhere? Like, by the grace of God, I'm a busy filmmaker. I, I have so many other projects opening. Uh, uh, after this, I'm going to get ready for August in uh, Maryland. We're opening a film called Boxing Day. Then, uh, immediately after that, we're going to Nigeria to open another film called A Trip to Jamaica. And uh, we, we intend to, 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 to make this better, to, to make this bigger, uh, to make quality uh, production value uh, our own. Our Sorry, because this has never happened before in Canada. Like, you know how this is the first international movie that was shot via Nigeria and Canada. So is there going to be more like, because we have artists, we have um, actors out here too that live here and they're Nigerians or Africans and they really want to get into this stuff. Is there like an, uh, an opportunity for people like this to showcase their talent also if you guys are going to have stuff like this done again? There's something in the works, uh, and we intend to make it better, we intend to make it bigger, uh, we intend to take it to another level. So, there's going to be so much happening here. Uh, we 
we're actually working on the script presently. So it's going to be an open audition. And we're going to try to use the best of your best to make it look good. Thank you very much, Mr. Peters. It was a pleasure talking with you. It's my first time meeting you in person. So I'm like starstruck, you know what I'm saying? But I'm keeping my cool. My hand is shakes small. So thank you very much, sir. I'm looking forward to seeing the real movie when it comes out. It's dropping. So there you have it, Vivian Williams production. j Baz is talking live with effect, man. We're doing this links, man, all day, every day. You already know. Thank y'all. Deuces. <laughs>